Hi everyone, I want to go ahead and take a look at two problems from the worksheet. This mercury problem and this other mercury problem. So it says a long tube closed on one end is filled with mercury. The tube is inverted into a second tub of mercury as shown. Given the density of mercury is 13.6 grams per milliliter, that's also grams per cubic centimeter or 13,600 kilograms per cubic meter, how tall would the column of mercury be? Assume atmospheric pressure is 101 kilopascals. All right, so there's a couple things going on in here. First, this tube was entirely filled with mercury, which means there's no air in it. So when we, and then we drop it down into this tub of mercury. Now, immediately gravity is going to act on this mercury and start pulling it down, pulling it down, pulling it down. However, as it pulls it down, that opens up this space up here, which doesn't have any air in it. It's a vacuum. There's nothing up there. So there's no pressure pushing down up here. Uh, there is pressure here, though. The atmosphere is pushing on this open tube of mercury. And remember, pressure everywhere in a fluid uh, is the same. So at the top of this fluid, we have atmospheric pressure. And so this this mercury tube here is going to have atmospheric pressure acting to push this fluid up. So when the weight of this column of mercury is balanced by the force from this pressure, we're going to have a static column. And that's what this problem is about. So it says, how high is this column if atmospheric pressure is 101 kilopascals? So basically, we have atmospheric pressure equals the pressure from the mercury and the pressure from the mercury is equal to the density of the mercury times the acceleration due to gravity times the height. Now you do have to be careful here. This atmospheric pressure is given in kilopascals, which is uh, 1,000, right? So 101,000 pascals, which is a newton per square meter. And so that means I want to make it sure everything's in kilograms, units, base units, right? So this is equal to the density of mercury, which is 13.6 grams per milliliter, or 13,600 grams per cubic meter, uh, times g, 9.8 meters per second per second times h, whatever it is. Now if you do this math, you're going to take 101,000 and divide that by 13,600 and then divide that by 9.8 and you end up with 0.7578 meters. Uh, this does say millimeters in my picture, so I would say 757.8 millimeters and this is millimeters of mercury. Now millimeters of mercury is actually a fairly common unit of pressure. Uh, 760 millimeters of mercury is taken to be atmospheric pressure. Um, depends on what level you're at, right? Higher above sea level, lower the pressure is. But if you see a unit of millimeters of mercury, it's basically telling you this is how high a column of mercury is to exert that pressure. Which is what problem four is actually doing. It says, in a movie, Tarzan evades capture by hiding underwater for many minutes while breathing through a long thin reed. Assuming the maximum pressure difference his lungs can manage and still breathe is 85 millimeters of mercury. That seems like a funny unit for pressure, but it's telling you if this column of mercury is 85 millimeters high, it has the same pressure as how much pressure his lungs can overcome. Now if you think about somebody snorkeling, we have water, we have this snorkel down here, we have them and their lungs. Okay? Now their lungs have to be able to inhale and exhale, squeeze and uh, squeeze the air out and then expand to bring air in. And we don't usually think of that expanding as taking much force, but if you're pushing against a whole bunch of water, it does. He's good deep enough in the water that it exerts the same pressure as 85 millimeters of mercury. Now I want to show you something. Since the pressure is equal to uh, rho density times g times h, what we know is we're given millimeters mercury. And we know up from up above that the density of mercury is 13.6 grams per cubic centimeter. So I'm actually going to use that. I'm going to say, OK, so the pressure that we can maximum have is 13.6, my density, times g, 9.8, and then times h. And we know the height of this mercury column is 85 millimeters. Now, I'm paying extra special attention to units. This 13.6, this is grams per cubic centimeter, or grams per milliliter. This 9.8, this is meters per second per second. Now that has to be equal to the pressure the water can exert. Well, the density of water, I'm going to make it match. In grams per cubic centimeter, 
is 1. The acceleration due to gravity is still 9.8. And then the height of the column of water is whatever the height of the column of water is. Well, the units for gravity, we're going to divide both sides by 9.8 divide by 9.8 with its units, those are going to go away. We're going to divide both sides by 1. And this is grams per cubic centimeter. This is 1 grams per cubic centimeter. So those units go away too. And then I'm left with h over here. So all I have left to do is multiply out my numbers. My 9.8 is canceled, but 13.6 divided by 1 is still 13.6. So I take 13.6 times 85, and I get 1156, which seems like a big number except you pay attention to what units left. The units that's left is this millimeters. So that's 1,156 millimeters, or about 1.156 meters. Um, and in fact, most snorkeling tubes don't exceed 40 centimeters, because you don't have enough lung strength to exhale and inhale uh, deeper than that.